In this video, I'm going to show you choosing loops in context in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to choose our loops before we import them in context with our current project. For example, I have a project right here with a vocal and a couple of guitars. Let's hear it now. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. So I want to add a loop to this, but I want to hear how it sounds before I import it. So we'll go up here to the View menu and choose the Media Explorer. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut or Control X on the PC or Option Command X on the Mac. That opens up a Media Explorer where we could choose any loops or samples we want to import. I have some drum loops over here which sound like this. Hit the space bar to hear them. Hit the next one, hit the space bar to hear each one. Or we could turn on auto play over here, and now just clicking on them will play them right away. But if we want to hear it in context with our track, we have to hit play with the arrangement window active. I'm so beautiful. And then click into this window, like this. I'm so beautiful. And notice it doesn't play in time because our loops are playing at different tempos. This one is 73 beats per minute, and this one is about 83 beats per minute, and this one is 74, while our project is 75 beats per minute. So you probably want to time stretch each loop before we bring them in, and also preview them like that. And we could do that by clicking this button. Now each loop is going to play at 75 beats per minute. Now let's hear that with the project. I'm so beautiful. But as you could hear, I started it out of time. To keep it in sync, we could hit this button, which means the loop is going to start on the downbeat of the bar, which should keep it in time. Let's try it again. Click the arrangement window to make it active. Hit the space bar. I'm so beautiful. That worked a lot better, as they stay in sync as our loops play from the downbeat of the bar. But to make this even easier, we could preview our loops with a different keyboard shortcut. If we use the right arrow and the left arrow to stop it, we could use the space bar just for our transport by changing the scope of the space bar so it always plays the transport no matter what window is active. So we'll go to the actions. Show action list, find shortcut, hit the space bar. Here's the action for transport, play, and stop. And it's set to the space bar. Just double click this and change the scope from normal to global. So now, even if the Media Explorer is active, if we hit the space bar, I'm so beautiful. It will always play our track or the transport instead. It doesn't preview our loop. We could turn this off. Now we could use the right arrow to play and the left arrow to stop. So now we get the space bar and then the right arrow. I'm so beautiful. Hit the left arrow to stop previewing the loop and the space bar to stop our transport. So I could hear it better in context. We could just jump through each loop and hitting the right arrow like this. I'm so beautiful.
And if we come across a loop playing half as slow or twice as fast as we want, we could choose these options. This is double time. And this is half time. So let's try double time in context with our project for this loop. I'm so beautiful. So that's another option if our loops are too fast or too slow. Let's put it back to normal and hear the other loops. But instead of hitting the right arrow, we could choose this button again to auto play when we click on each loop, like this. I'm so beautiful. And besides the right and left arrows to preview and stop the loops, we could also use the down arrow to choose the next loop, and the up arrow to choose the previous loop. I'm so beautiful. Now let's say we want to import our loops to a specific track because you already added an effect on that track. I have a loop track already here ready to go with an EQ on it filtering this track. Right here, which has parameter modulation on it. So it's filtering this loop in real time. But we're not hearing this effect on the loops as we're choosing them. And we probably should if we know we're going to be using it. But luckily, we could hear it through that track or we're previewing it in the Media Explorer. Just select this track, go down here to our routing, and instead of using output left and right on my audio interface, we could choose our first selected track. Let's choose this. And now, if I play my loop, it's gonna play through this track. Again, it's already filtered. So if we know we're going to affect our loops in a certain way, we're probably going to want to preview them that way before we import them. So we could hear it in context because we chose this option. So let's preview each of our loops through that track and its effects. I'm so beautiful. When we choose the loop we want, let's choose this one. We'll put our cursor right on that bar and just hit this button. Now it's imported right on that bar. I'm so beautiful.
we could drag it out to loop as long as we want. But by hearing our loops in context, either playing them in time or through the track with exactly how it's going to be when it's finished, is a lot more useful than just hearing the loops completely out of context. So that's pretty much it. That's choosing loops in context in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!